Hey there. Well, I got my second Pfizer shot on Sunday, and everything seems to be going all right. My arm was a little sore yesterday, and today I was a little bit groggy, and that's to be expected, but everything else is fine, so no worries there. Which means that on the 16th, I should be free to do a lot more of what I'd like to do. But uh, politically, both sides seem like they're falling apart here in the United States. The left, and when I say the left in this regard, I'm talking about the internet left and the media left. I'm not talking about politicians type of left. I mean, at least not right now. So the left is doing the whole purity spiral thing. And they're essentially eating their own, fighting over who's the most woke. And the right wing is fighting between religious zealots and Trump worshippers who demand that Republicans be loyal to Trump. You know, fighting over who gets to call themselves patriots and who can be the most smugly cruel while doing it. And most of what the Democrats say about Republicans are true and most of what the Republicans say about the Democrats are true. Both sides claim great aspirations, especially the neoliberals who make up the majority of the Democrats who are in office. But neither side delivers. Neither side are actually populist. Trump's populism was a veneer. It was fake, as populist politicians usually are. Neither side wants to do anything significant to change the fact that we have more of a percentage of our population in prison than any other country. Neither side wants to get rid of the war on drugs. Neither side wants to stop punishing people for victimless crimes. Neither side really wants to do anything substantial or constructive about the homeless. Heck, we, we have Democrats arguing that we should make homelessness illegal, you know, like, like what's happening in a number of cities where... Yeah, you, you, you can't camp anywhere <laughs> unless you go to one of the, you know, unless you go to a designated camp spot and then you have to pay money. So, you know, you want to make it illegal to be homeless. Lots of Democrats pushing for that kind of crap. Oh, but we care so much. No, no, you don't. Not really. So as I watch everyone get worse politically, I start to lose interest in politics in general. Because it all seems to be about division and one-upsmanship. People are so busy trying to prove something that they've lost the plot. Over the past few weeks, I've unsubscribed from so many right-wing channels who fearmonger about stupid shit. You know, no actual evidence, all conjecture. Now look out, it's coming! Yep, Democrats want mass immigration so they can replace... Yeah, yeah, fuck you. I'm just not interested in those kind of conspiracy theories. If I want to see that kind of shit, I can go to the internet video sharing site equivalent of the National Enquirer, BitChute, where I can watch people fearmonger to their heart's content while I point at the screen and laugh. And oh my goodness, what a difference dumping all of this toxic bullshit has done for me. No more Daily Wire or anyone on it. No more conservative twins. No more Candace Owens. No more Mark Dice. No more Steven Crowder. No more Blair White. There are just so many people. I mean, at least 30 channels I unsubscribed from recently. And then on the side of, you know, whole websites, yeah, no more Blaze TV. No more Censored.TV with Gavin McGinnis or Soph. Or Atheism is Unstoppable. No more Band.Video. No more constantly trying to be on top of whatever it is everyone is supposed to be outraged about now. And as I say that both sides seem equally outraged, the left is upset because things are still so traditional and not really accepting or very accepting of alternate lifestyles or alternate social norms. And we're falling behind the rest of the industrialized Western world. And the right is upset because things aren't traditionalist or isolationist enough. And we're not practicing, you know, social or cultural Darwinism enough. Not enough disadvantaged people are suffering. Oh, I know, the right wing doesn't really want people to suffer. 
They just don't want to do anything about people's suffering. Or at least, they don't think it's the government's job to do anything about the suffering. Which basically translates to they don't want anything done about these people's suffering. Thoughts and prayers, everyone. Thoughts and prayers. I know I said that in a, in a recent video, but that's what I see consistently coming from the right. Oh, but let me guess. In a just world where barely regulated or even unregulated capitalism is at its best, people wouldn't need help from the government because the market is magical. And if they still did need help after all of that, well, religious organizations could help these people better than the government ever could, right? Yeah, sorry, I just don't buy into it for a moment. Trickle-down economics doesn't work. Tax cuts for the rich don't really help anyone but the rich. The market is not magical. I mean, you can see this by the way that YouTube moderates their content. You don't like that very much, right? But hey, that's the free market, right? No, the free market is not magical. Religion is not the only source of morality, nor should it be. Many things that we take for granted are actually social constructs that could change if enough people demand it. This country is not going to fall apart Civilization is not going to fall apart if we significantly change to become more accepting and more inclusive. But I'm going to continue to get out the popcorn and watch the shit show. Because that's what it is at this point. You know, though, it has been kind of interesting watching protest videos from YouTube channels that are actually in support of the protests. It's interesting how different the protests seem. They look mostly peaceful. In fact, that's what they, they really have been. They have been mostly peaceful. And the ones that haven't been peaceful have, have not been peaceful, and they've caused a lot of problems. That doesn't mean that most of the people that are protesting are like the ones that are rioting, you know? I don't support the rioting. And this doesn't mean that the people who aren't peaceful shouldn't be brought to justice, they should be brought to justice. They've committed a crime. They should, they should be prosecuted for that crime. And it's laughable when I see people trying to compare people protesting against police violence, which is continual, which we continue to see evidence of all the time. People want to compare people protesting police brutality with Republicans protesting because their cult leader lost an election. Yeah, yeah, you can jump up and down and declare that it was stolen all you want, but it wasn't any more corrupt or fraudulent than any of the other elections we've had in the past 30 years. And you can't just suddenly say, oh, well, it's time that we change that now. No, just, just because your guy lost doesn't mean that, uh, that we, we change the entire voting system. It doesn't mean you put forth measures that are voter suppression, that, that, that doesn't mean that that's the answer. And I haven't seen BLM or Antifa trying to, you know, change the results of an election. Some of them have made some ridiculous demands, but none of it has been an attempted insurrection. I saw people threaten to riot if the Derek Chauvin case went a direction that, you know, things have went historically for when police get charged with something like this. But thankfully, it didn't go that way. And that's not remotely even the same thing. Maybe after the 16th, if there's still some significant protesting going on in the Tacoma, Seattle area, maybe I'll get some footage of it. And I'll most definitely run away if I see, you know, Black Block come into place, because I'm, I'm not even going to mess with that. You know, again, this, this doesn't mean I'm done making political videos, but probably less often than I did before. Because I just don't see politics as very fruitful anymore, you know? Maybe I'll change, because I've, I've taken breaks like that before. But uh, who knows? Thanks for watching.